time to marry off her daughters to Harvard-educated money men. Hi everyone, I have so much to do to get ready for this, um, well not so much to do, but I definitely need to prepare for this um, event I'm having this Saturday that involves Tupperware. I had a bunch of running to do today, but I showed before this, you know, a sped up of me putting my makeup on for the day. It's a gloomy day out, it's been raining. Um, this dress follow me on Instagram, you would have saw I wore this to Epcot last year. And so every time I wear it, it reminds me of Epcot. Isn't that cute? I'm wearing, I'm not wearing a strapless today, so I wore this with it. Plus it's a little chilly, but um, it's a wrap dress. Well, only the top part's a wrap part, but ties on the side. And uh, I got this from Dress Barn. Sometimes you can find such cute things there for so, like so reasonably. And then these shoes, I love these shoes. At Nordstrom, and um, I really, really like them. And I checked to see, you know, which fit, what size would be best. And then I kept looking and looking on that site. Do you ever buy anything from 6 p.m.? Because they have such reduced price after like an item or a style has been discontinued. So there's a little secret because I am so cheap. But I love expensive things. <laughs> so I get expensive things. But like 70% off or more. Yay! Now I am going to change because I'm done with all of my like running around today. And I have to start cleaning for this party. The idea is that today's Thursday and if the party is Saturday to kind of redo my routine so that I really get a good like overall whole house clean so that then I just have to maintain between now and then and pretty much set up for the party and just get a good overall base done so that it's easy to do maintenance clean just for the next couple days so that it's not overwhelming. Do as much as you can in advance. That's the that's the best um, advice I could give you. So come along with me and let's get working. Okay, so I'm back. I've got my, if you're gonna be able to see, my cleaning outfit on. My Velvet Underground shirt. I love this shirt. But um, I had a really, 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 really bad headache. Um, so I've got to get started though. I've got tomorrow's going to be the primary day that I, you know, get everything together. But um, the main thing when you're preparing for you know, a party or getting your house ready for guests is just to clear all the space, obviously. Clear the spaces. I have to... Can you see my room better? So, the main thing is, like, with this, I have all these towels. You know, this is laundry. Get all the laundry put away. Any laundry that's dirty, get it, you know, separated. And even if you're not, if you don't have it done, like have it separated in baskets so that it's out of the way. Obviously, you don't want to have like dirty clothes laying around. Okay, so I am going to fold all these towels and put these away. Yeah. And 
The kids are in and out of here playing games on my computer and in my bathroom and all over my bed and everything constantly and the rest of the house. So it's like just maintaining, picking everything up is a process. I suggest going around the house with something like this because you fill it up and drop it off in each room. Always remember that is huge, I think, is never leave a room empty handed unless you are the most organized on top of it person ever and you don't have anybody else that you're living with to like annoy you with their not being that way I leave a room empty handed because there's always something from the room that you're leaving that you can drop off in where it's supposed to go on the way to where you're going Okay, now I'm just going to do like the quick one-two on my bathroom. I'm going to get more into it tomorrow. I'm not going to clean the shower and I'm not going to clean the floors tonight. But this is literally something that I would do um, like every other day is, is what should be done. Like I said, you know, with six people, this little house, as you can see now, my tiny bathroom. I haven't done like the tour yet, but I'm going to like how I stay organized and keep like all my stuff. In the bathroom but um what babe but this is what I'll do through the week like every two to three days and I'm gonna do it now so that by the time you know Saturday comes I will have all the big stuff done like the floors the toilet and the and the shower but then you know this won't have gotten so bad that it won't involve just literally what I'm going to do right now because I do this often just because it maintains it maintenance is the key because maintenance takes something that takes a really long time and like takes it into little tiny increments you can do this like get on the phone with your girlfriend and the you know start get your spray out and start wiping stuff it doesn't take long it really doesn't so just get into it. Okay, so that took not long. I mean, that took about the amount of time that you would spend on hold to get through to a company. And those are actually good times to do things like this. Ba for very basic cleanup, um, I have everything where the dust settles, um, wiped up, you know, it actually feels, you know, especially in a bathroom where you use, like I have sm such a small, such a small bathroom and with the hairsprays and stuff, I constantly have to wipe up because it gets everywhere and it gets sticky. I mean, you got to clean the glass, the toilet seat. I've got a mirror behind this door and it gets, um, you know, to the point where you just have to wipe it up. Oh. So all of my, everything where the dust is settled is wiped up. I'm going to throw this downstairs because this is obviously dirty. And then tomorrow I'll focus on the toilet and the shower. And I'm going to go and do the same thing in the other bathroom, just the basics, and then do the deep cleaning on both tomorrow. So, um, yeah, that's how I would normally do it. And like with their bathroom too, I actually have to wipe their bathroom like basically every day. Because though they use mine too, and my husband and I do, I kind of wipe as I go, but they do not. It is four girls sharing a bathroom and it's literally like toothpaste flicks you know are like on everything I don't even know how it gets like that like the rugs all by the end of the day it looks like a college a shared like college dorm bathroom it's I, I don't even know how it's possible that it, it can get that crazy 
So their bathroom, like the routine I'm about to do on theirs, I'll do every day. I don't do the toilet and the floor and the bathtub every day, but since they do use theirs so often, I do theirs like a couple times a week more than I do ours. So off to theirs. Look at where you guys are. You literally have to be in the bathtub <laughs> to make this work. This bathroom's small too, but it's bigger than mine. So um, every day, pretty much, I'll switch out their hand towel because it's, you know, four people have used it through the day. Um, oh, I need to refill their soap. Okay, so that's gone. But right now, I'm not doing the deep cleaning. This is something, like I said, I have to do like pretty much every night. So I got a new, new thing. I'm just going to move this and wipe everything down. Um, where's the step stool? Hold on, I gotta get the step stool. Okay. They're little kids. They, like, legitimately need step stools. And I am a grown woman that's so freaking short. I need a step stool for everything. Like, I literally need to, like, get up on the sink to clean to the top. So, for safety reasons, don't do what I'm about to do for this part. Like, let it be said and known, I'm risking my life right now doing this. Do not try this at home. I'm a real daredevil. Whoops. I risk my life, like, every day doing this in the name of a clean mirror. I not believe with the four little ones. I mean, even my oldest is still you know, young, I don't know how they do it if they're like doing acrobatics in here when they're brushing their teeth or something, but there's literally like tooth, you know, toothpaste that flings around, like way up there. Like what the heck could you possibly be doing when you're this tall to get toothpaste like, I don't know, like three feet away? It's crazy. It's just a double-edged sword, I and mean, that's the way life works, the yin-yang. If it's beautiful, it's usually high maintenance. So if you want it shiny and beautiful, you got to commit to putting in the time. I actually have a candle in here. Let's it smells, mark it. Oh, it smells so good. Indonesian teak. So I put that in there because I'm going to burn that for when people come over. Okay, I'm on my way to get my hair done. I love hair days. My party is tomorrow, so this works out perfectly. Hey everybody, so I'm back from the salon. What do you think? It's really red. I told her to go even like more vivid because red fades really fast. So, um, you know, a lot of times you have to keep in mind when you're getting your hair done, the look that you want to achieve it might not be the way that, this is hard to explain. I should do a different video about this. I should ask my stylist if she would want to do one with me. Because sometimes to get the look that you want to last, you have to leave the salon with it looking a little bit different than you want it to ultimately look. Because they'll know how to do it. If you want it to look a certain way, they'll want to definitely satisfy you. And so you will walk out the door looking like that. But it won't necessarily last. Like with red and some blondes, like some things you need to overtone. So when you shampoo, like the second shampoo into it, now it's there and it's achievable for a little bit longer. Anyway, that's a whole different subject. Today is the day before the party. So today I really need to bring it to get, you know, everything executed. 
The floors need to be done and mopped. The bathrooms need to be completely completed. You know, the showers, toilets, floors. Um, you know, all of my serving wear ready and everything ready to go. So I'm going to take you along with me right now. I'm going to change out of this outfit. This is what I already started vacuuming. Uh, this is what I wore to the salon. I love this shirt. It's by Ralph Lauren. Um, then they're from uh, Coach. They're the loafers. They have the rose gold emblem, and I love them. I wear the heck out of them. You can see they're starting to get scuffed at the toe, but they have, like, the driver moccasin, you know, sole. But I love these. I would say try to find these on sale. They're super, super soft leather, and I wear the heck out of them. To get anyway. changed into my, like, total cleaning clothes, um, and we are going to get started. Let's bust this out. This will be easy because we're doing it the day before. So preparation. Then everything from here on out is just maintenance. That I can handle. Okay, let's go. So I am changed and ready to clean, which should start with this mirror. It is always a mess. Um, since my husband and one of my kids is at the store, the other one I have down for a nap and I had to go get one from school who has a temperature, I have to take her to the doctor now um, in like an hour. So I have an hour. So yes, everything's fragmented. It's okay, girls. We're going to go with it. Got my hair pinned back. And I think that the most reasonable thing to do at this point that's most difficult to do with people around is mop my kitchen floor. So I am going to haul it and I am going to sweep and mop my floor and get it done before anybody gets up and like starts roaming around. Then it'll be a, probably about time for me to change and get her to the doctor. So, um, so this can be done and it will be done because it has to be done. Half an hour to do empty the dishwasher. So, yeah, we have a carpenter bee on the deck. Those are so, they are so weird. And they'll just buzz around and like just follow the kids. It's like they're terrible. I'm not saying that they should be like eliminated from the earth, but I'm saying that they have wreaked havoc on our back deck and we have to have it replaced because of them. So, um, they apparently like very expensive um, homes to build for themselves, like an entire deck for a little bee. Anyway, I have some of the things ready for the party, so I have to start getting dressed to go take my kid to the doctor now, but um, my husband picked these up, streamers for the Tupperware party. Is that cute? Of course I'm gonna use them. That's adorable that he thought to get streamers. So um, I'm gonna figure out how to use that. I got these plates from uh, Costco. We eat outside a lot in the summer anyway, but we have like, let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, this party, and then we have three birthday parties coming up, and just a lot, so this will be, this will be great. Um, these colorful plates we got at Costco, of course. So these are the napkins. They're striped, sorry if I look sweaty, I'm trying to go so fast. Uh, the stripes on one side, and, um, polka dot on the other and then these polka dot straws which I love those are so cute um I'm going to be serving lemonade so I got this from Costco uh you fill it up with ice on the bottom so it'll stay cold and um you know won't dilute the lemonade and I got their organic lemonade I get this every summer it's really really tasty and then for all the parties like I said I just got this I'm just going to use the yellow um cups for this party 
so this is kind of set up right now. Of course, there's more we're adding to it that we're going to get later. And I know that this seems like I've been using the word so often because it's so true in my life is a fragmented video. And I hope that you don't like view this as not a success because as far as like making a video that's really streamlined and taking you through the whole thing, this is real. This is how to do it with four kids and I'm keeping my cool. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm like a little heated right now, but that's okay. I'm getting it done. I'm still on schedule. She woke up in the come here. She woke up in the middle of me uh, mopping. You know, it's like it's going to happen. It's not going to go as planned, but you can still get it done. Um the whole thing that that I have learned is basically like if we want to get out the door, tell everybody that they need to be ready about 45 minutes before we actually have to walk out the door. And if we're going to have um, people over or I need to get a big project done, I need to start two days in advance than I think I do. That's the secret. Start early. <laughs> Coming to you pretty worn from the day, but this is what's on the agenda for tonight, the night before. Now, tomorrow, the party's not, like, early in the day. It's at 4.30, so, you know, there's some time there. But really, I mean, all the kids will be here, so it's going to be to be able to get myself ready, get everything laid out food-wise and, you know, candles and flowers and places that I would not have them until the kids are gone. Um, my husband's going to take them out for a little while. So what I need to do is dust and I am going to arrange these flowers. Aren't they gorgeous? Guess where those are from? Did you guess Costco? Because you'd be right. I have these to serve and I need to get out a serving platter for that. Those are from Costco and I tried one and they're absolutely, totally and completely fantastic. And then we got this Cheesecake Factory um, selection. They're already pre-cut. Chocolate, vanilla bean, white chocolate raspberry, and dolce de leche caramel slices of four flavors. Okay, so, and I'm going to have 12 people here. And then I got raspberries to serve with the cheesecake. I thought that that would be nice to have in a bowl to serve up with these, some fresh fruit. That's exciting. That's exciting. And I was just cleaning the curio. The Disney curio. Yeah, I don't think that there's a place for me to do the plush zoom zooms right now. So I'll think I, I think I'll put those in my room. I don't know. I need to think about a good spot. But doesn't it look cute? This is the collection of the we're missing Minnie Mouse. Somebody has Minnie Mouse and we need to find her. But uh anyway. I have a tour video of the uh, Disney Curio if you're into that and want to see it. I'll link it below. I'm going to get to arranging these flowers. Some different, some small vases for the bathroom and these uh, for around in the kitchen and for on the mantle. I'm not gonna light any candles because of the cray paper decoration. I'm just afraid that if there were anything to fall, you know, that would be terrible. So this is a candle holder. 
Though I think I'm going to put some flowers in it. I think it would look cute. So I'm going to multi-purpose it. Had to get the Pandora station ready for later and decided I might as well rock out to it while I'm um, whipping this together. The time has come. Obviously, I haven't gotten ready yet, but it is time to whip it up. Day of. take that much because um, I just deep cleaned it the other day. So I just did a quick wipe on everything, a quick vacuum, made the beds, all the bedding's clean, and now off to more. And by the way, on the day of, I'm gonna pull this little number. On the day of, you just gotta pull a full lockdown situation, room by room. Fun. So anyway, this room, my kid was sick yesterday, still is, and they like to, like, heating pad. They get the deluxe treatment, all the blankets, um, all the movie channels. They're set up. So, of course, everybody drops everything in this room, and here come all the babies. So, um, I had to get up this morning and have coffee before I could even think about making my bed, because I was up, like, helping her a lot. So anyway, I've got to get this done fast. As you can see, it is a disaster. Um, this room, okay, it's done. I actually usually, like, my house looks a little bit more together, like, when I'm not having a party. It's pretty funny because it's a Saturday, so everybody's at home, and, like, I have to keep checking on everybody. So anyway, this room wasn't bad to put together. It was just making the bed, putting the laundry away, quick wipe up because everything was basically dusted, a quick vacuum because I vacuumed just the other day, like thoroughly, and um, just picked up a little on my desk. I have some stuff I need to file away, and I have a couple gifts for some people that are coming, some of my friends. Let's see if you can see this. Can you see this coloring book? I got these. They were $8.99 at Costco. They got back from um, uh, Universal not too long ago, and they brought me those shirts I was showing you, and a bunch of stuff. But anyway, these are the adult coloring books, and I got one for for each of them. Costco, I'm telling you, I love that place. I am done in here, so I am going to turn the lights off and close this room down. It's like a no-enter zone. Okay, this this bathroom's pretty clean. Before the guests come, I will switch this out to a fresh one, but like, I'm gonna wait until the kids are out before that. What? I'm just gonna, just gonna do the quick one-two on this bathroom because I've already basically done it, but I do need to clean the toilet. What? Okay, and the main thing is, 
what I would suggest is at least, I mean, you've got to wipe, you've got to clean your toilet. You've got to wipe down the sink. And you have to change out. Always have a clean um, hand towel. And, well, I guess I'm saying that you need to do everything. Because you do. Always change your trash can out. Nobody wants to see your tissue. That's got to go. As soon as, right before people come, light your candles and make sure all your trash cans are empty. Like, if I even get a phone call from somebody and somebody's coming over, that's, like, my first, like instinct to do is go around and like change out all the trash bags. I don't know, do you do that? Okay, now I'm going to clean the toilet, which you know how to do, so I'm not gonna like walk you through that. But what I use, oh, first of all, I was also gonna say, refill your soap. Like this is kind of low. Like, either buy a new soap and have it out for, um, you know, if you're having guests over, or make sure you refill, because you don't want to run out of soap, and, like, you want to have either, I'll probably put, like, as soon as, I'll take this one off the toilet paper roll and just make sure there's a fresh toilet paper roll on there as well um, for when guests come over. And then I'll just put the one that's, like, partially used underneath the sink and put it back on, you know, to replace that when it's done. But anyway, so when I clean the bathroom, I'm going to sweep, uh, sweep, vacuum the rug, in the toilet, I use these um, Clorox, and then I use these wipes, and I wear gloves, disposable gloves, and then I also like work my way out of the bathroom because I just clean the floors on my hands and knees and use these. Um, because it's so small, like to get a mop out and everything, you know, it's unnecessary. So I just clean the toilet, that's kind of my last step, and then work my way out. And I've got, you know, a little trash bag here to put all this in so I can throw it all away. And then the bathroom will be done. The best thing to start with is refilling this, and then I'll work my way out. Now, I've got the table here. Um, she actually has another tablecloth she's going to put over it, and that's where she's going to display the Tupperware. And then the seating, I have just, I have that um, shape sorting ball out because it's cute. And then some pens and a glass, and I'll have the catalogs on the table. Um, I know I decorate in weird ways. I don't know. I got these balloons, and I didn't do the helium, and I put them up there. I don't know. I think it's cute. Um, and these flowers are absolutely gorgeous. And I've got a candle lit. And I'll show you more of that later and how it's set up. And then chairs going over that way. And then in the kitchen, I have the trash can open because it's a reminder to make sure to put a fresh bag in um, right before the guests come. Um, and I have two dish rags out that I've been using that I'll throw downstairs basically as soon as, um, you know, I think the people are going to come because I have the new ones, you know, out already. So those are fresh. I have um, coffee station kind of ready. I need to get on making a fresh, um, a fresh pot. And then the table I have sort of set up like preliminary setup. So I'm going to get the rest done and I will see you later.